China's President Xi Jinping's powers are expected to be expanded as the country's most significant political event of the year gets underway. The National People's Congress is predicted to confirm several of President Xi's allies to key positions and set various goals for the year ahead. Let's go live now to Taipei and our Asia correspondent Brent O'Halloran. And hello, Brent. What are the key things to look out for today? So, I mean, this is the annual parliamentary session. More than 2,000 delegates gather in the Great Hall to rubber stamp government policies and senior appointments. There are quite a few of those this year. We're going to get a new Premier, for example. That's tipped to be Li Keqiang, who is one of several expected appointees who are close allies of President Xi Jinping, which effectively ensures that President Xi has zero pushback to anything he later proposes. The National People's Congress is also expected to transfer a lot of local government powers to the national bodies, which again gives the President greater power over everyday affairs. So those appointments and the transfer of powers are among the key things to be looking out for today and perhaps into next week. And Brent, a few important numbers also to be announced. Indeed, the outgoing Premier, Li Keqiang, has been delivering his final speech in that role. He's presenting some of those important government targets for this year. He said that, gov uh, that the Chinese government aims to boost GDP by around 5%. And he's also said that uh, China has secured a victory over the coronavirus pandemic, but he did not mention the strict COVID zero policies. We're getting, expecting to get more some economic data and plans over the next few hours. We're also expecting to get some details on the likely increase in military spending. Now, that's something officials in the US and here in Taipei will, of course, be particularly interested to hear about, given the heightened tensions and Beijing's threats towards Taiwan. A spokesperson earlier hinted at an increase, but suggested the rest of the world need not fear. The future of China is closely linked to the future of the world. China's military modernization does not pose a threat to any country, but rather is a positive force for maintaining regional stability and world peace. So, I mean, this National People's Congress is being held alongside the CPPCC, which is effectively an advisory body. Attendance levels for both are back to where they were before the pandemic. And China, of course, is facing multiple major challenges right now, including record high youth unemployment and low economic growth and, of course, fraught relations with the US and Western Europe, given how Beijing is pushing for its peace plan with Ukraine. The NPC runs until March 13, Simon. Thanks, Brent. We're just seeing those live pictures as you're talking to us there out of Beijing of the NPC uh, out of China. So that continues uh, throughout the day and it's quite an event that we're seeing come in out of uh, Beijing, China, where it's just gone 9.35 or 9.36 in the morning. So Brent will be monitoring that throughout the day for us here on Sky News.